Basic Microbiology, a laboratory manual. Lab 2, isolation of pure culture. Part A, isolation of discrete colonies from mixed cultures. Purpose, to identify cause of infection or etiology. Allow the study of cultural, morphological, and biochemical properties of the bacteria. Definition, pure isolation is producing sufficiently far apart individual bacterial cells on the surface of agar medium, containing only one type of bacteria. There are three methods to isolate colonies. First, streak plate method. Second, spread plate method. Third, pour plate method. First, streak plate method. Using a 90 mm plate with 4 mm agar thickness, streak the plate four times, primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary with seven to nine lines back and forth reaching the edges of the plate. Flame and cool loop. Turn plate 90 degrees centigrade, repeat streaking, but only the first line draw should touch the previous streak. Repeat tertiary and quaternary streaks in the same way. Flaming between streaks and touching previous streak once results in final separated colonies. In case using disposable loops, replace loop after each streak. Alternative streak plate method Label bottom of dish View through agar Alternative streak plate method includes three rounds of streaking Primary, secondary and tertiary Streak Flame cool Turn streak Flame cool, turn streak, flame cool, turn streak, and finally, flame cool. 2. Spread plate method. With a sterile pipette, add a drop of sterile water in the center of the nutrient agar plate. Flame cool loop, select isolated colony and transfer to drop of water on the plate and mix gently. Cover the plate. Flame cool L-shaped glass rod. With a glass rod, gently touch the drop of water with bacteria and spread back and forth on the entire plate. Incubate in an inverted position at 37 degrees centigrade for 24 hours. Spinning turntables can be used to make uniform spread. 3. Pour plate method. See the other lab session. To prepare mixed tea on the day of experiment, add 1 ml of sterile water into sterile swab tube and allow to soak for 5 minutes. The water-soaked swab should be squeezed at the sides of the tube and used to swab the bench top or sink or inside the incubator. Allow swab to soak for 5 minutes again. To each group, distribute 24-hour nutrient broth of mix A, 1 part Seracia to 3 parts Micrococcus. Mix B, one part E. coli to 10 parts Micrococcus. And mix C, which is environmental specimen. Distribute six triptychase soy agar plates to each student group. Perform streak and spread plate methods from mix A, B, and C. Incubate in an inverted position at 25 degrees centigrade for 48 to 72 hours. Selection of bacteria depends on availability in the lab. Staphylococcus can be used instead of micrococcus, while Pseudomonas instead of Seracia. After incubation, examine all agar plates and report morphology parameters, including form, elevation, pigmentation, and size, as described in this table. Magnification lenses can aid in viewing colony morphology 
but can best be viewed by stereo microscope as it provides 3D image. Mobile phone camera can also produce detailed magnified images that fit the purpose. Use this form for reporting mix A and mix B results. Use this form for reporting mix C results. Part B. Isolation of pure cultures from plate preparation. Purpose. To produce pure stock culture by subculturing from culture plate. Inoculation of slant. First, incinerate until red. Allow to cool for 10 seconds. After isolating a discrete colony on the agar stick plate, touch the inoculating needle or stab to the surface of the selected colony. Flame tube. Uncap slant and pass neck of the tube rapidly over the Bunsen burner flame. Inoculate slant by drawing needle upward in a zigzag motion along the surface of the agar. Do not stab into the agar. Then flame needle. Flame neck of tube and recap. Afterwards, incubate for 24 hours at 35 to 37 degrees centigrade. To each student group, distribute four TSA slants. Pick visibly isolated yellow micrococcus colonies, red serratia, white E. coli, and colonies from environmental agar specimen plate, and inoculate into properly labeled TSA slants as described earlier. Incubate all slants at 37 degrees centigrade for 24 hours. Report colony characteristics or morphology. Use this form for reporting results. Type of growth on slant. Use this list of types of growth on slant to fill in the report. Compare and fill. Filiform or thread-like. Echinolet with spines. Beaded. Effuse. Arborescent or tree-like, rhizoid or filamentous.